Hi and welcome to this new video of Deep Dark Ross. So in this video I'm going to do something slightly different. So normally I try to bring simulations and I'll bring them in the future videos. But in this video what I'm going to talk about is a very basic topic that um, doing preparing the video uh, it's explained some parts here, some parts there in official documentation, forums um, and Git and so on. But I want to concentrate all that knowledge in this small video so that you know how to create a package, that you can create launches and nodes inside it and you can launch them so easily in ROS2. But not, not only that, but also if this package has uh, let's say a Python module that you want to use in another package, for example, a perception package or, so, or whatever, um, then um, in this package, how this package can see the Python module of the other one. Uh, so yeah, that's the video that I'm going to do now. Uh, before we start, uh, pre please remember that we are hosting this fourth developers day. Um, it's coming very well. The speakers are ready and they are really, really cool. So I highly recommend you that you check it out because some topics are amazing and others are incredible. Uh, yeah, so after this self promotion, let's dive in. So what what I'm going to show you is the, the first package, let's say, the, the package that we would need, we would have the Python modules. So I've created this uh, Deep Dark Ross series uh, Git that I leave in the video description if you want to check it out. Uh, all the code will be in this project that I leave also in the video description that you just have to click the link and you'll have all this code available for you. So we have this ROS2 package. So the first thing is, how do we create a ROS2 package? I've placed some notes. Uh, they are really rough, but I hope it, it's understandable. So the first thing is, we have to be sure that uh, in our environment, we only have Foxy. We only have ROS2 because if we had Noetic, for example, that it's a quite common um, scenario, it can give problems with gazebo, with compilation and very obscure um, problems. So I highly recommend you that you create some bash script of some kind that you are sure that sets up only um, ROS2 Foxy and gazebo paths. So, so in this case uh, what I have here is um, let me just so here uh, this sets up uh, the displays and so on but here I'm sourcing only Foxy and Gazebo the only thing that I'm sourcing no sourcing of Noetic no sourcing of other uh, uh, workspaces nothing so I'm sure that when I compile it only compiles for ROS2 Foxy, yeah? Okay, so next thing is I'm going to create a package. So I've created um, both packages that, that we will use. The first one is this one, Fox uh, um, Boxbot Perception, and the other one is Boxbot Tutorials. It's called Perception because um, maybe in the next video we will use this for perception in ROS2 using Python and try to reuse code that it's around for that. So you just have to execute this code, which is a ROS2 package create, build, amend, cmake. So there are two ways of um, creating a package for ROS2, cmake and Python. I'll talk about the cmake version. Uh, and if you're interested in the Python version, please leave it in the comments below and I'll do a video only about that. So we execute this command and we would have something like this. 
okay? But we wouldn't have several things. The first thing is this folder. So this folder has the same name and it's really important that it has the same name as the package. That's because ROS2 uses the name of the package to find this as a Python module. Yeah, so it has to have the same name. And it has also to have this in it a Python script, which is an empty one that Python uses only to indicate that, that this folder is this boxbot perception folder is um, is a module of Python and inside there are other modules of Python. Hmm? This is really important. This structure is vital, otherwise it won't work. Okay, now we have this. Okay, so inside this folder we put all the Python modules that we want to be available for all our um, ROS2 ecosystem, okay? All our packages in our workspace. Yeah, in this case, I've made two. We're going to look at this dummy class, which is, um, as the name says, really, um, really simple, which is um, basically, it's a class that initializes, prints two things, and then what it has is a function that generates a random um, uh, a random set of ASCII characters, basically letters, randomly. Yeah. Okay. First thing. So we have this. Second thing. The second thing is we have to create a, a script to basically test that this works. Okay. So we need some kind of way of testing that this works. Um, before using it in other packages. So we have to create this script folder. It can be other folders, but to be coherent, scripts is the one. And inside here, we have how do we create in ROS2 uh, a node. So in ROS2, they are made differently as in ROS1. So this is a very good example of a very simple node that has a, a publisher, which is the, the most common thing in ROS and it has been changed for the better, I suppose. Um, so let's go uh, just to explain. Uh, we have a ROS init, then we initialize a publisher and this publisher we inherit from this node class, which essentially um, tells that this class inherits from node and therefore there all the functionalities of node are inside here yeah so you have some some functions like get logger it's not defined here why because it's defined inside node so we don't we we don't use any more ros and um, so it would be rclp um um, info or warn and then print so we have this get logger info and then publish blah 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 okay the publisher more or less works the same way so we create a publisher with the type the name and the queue and then we create a timer which essentially is what in the old days in ROS1 is uh, this um, rospy dot sleep with the rates. So we created an object that was rates and then we sleeped. Uh, here we are creating a timer and again, self create timer. It doesn't exist here because it's inside node. Yeah. So here you have a very good exam example of a, a publisher for ROS2 in Python. Yeah. Okay. All this was to be able to get this dummy class and to be able if you are able to do this any other package outside of this package will also be able to find it because you're finding it through the package system not locally in relative paths and anything like that uh, and that's it so ros by spin minimal publisher 
and which is this node and then when it finishes we destroy it and we shut down this is a basic garbage collection in python okay uh, well let's let's uh, let's test it okay so to test it various things first ros2 is a bit of a pain because we have to compile um, not all the time but more more than we did in ROS1. So uh, for compiling you can do it however you want. I recommend to use this Qualcomm build simlink install. Why? Because if you don't use simlink, in, simlink install each time that for example I made a change in a Python script I would have to compile again because it has to copy this this python new python scripts to the install folder in ros2 workspace which is here and uh, if you don't do that uh, then when you execute it the changes won't be there so let's go here let's execute our qualcomm sim link install good uh, again rosm uh, I have to be sure that there's only foxy paths, no noetic, no other versions of ROS, okay? Especially of ROS1, because it, it conflicts. Okay, once it's done, then we do a source, install, setup.bash. Again, it's different. Before it was devil, now it's install. Let's go to our workspace. Uh, Deep Dark Ross series and then box perception and then scripts and we do Python dummy talker and there you go. So we didn't use Ross launch or anything, just launching like that, just because we don't have a launch. Yeah, so we have the scripts and with scripts we can just execute it with Python like that. And what you can see is that it's publishing and if we go to another uh, ROS2 topic, uh, topic echo, um, I think it's dummy talker and we can see that we're generating, okay? Okay, so this proves that we generated a um, um, let me close all the stuff that I might have here okay okay so this proves that now uh, we have a package that in theory could be uh, used by other packages its module and then how how does this work so the last piece of the puzzle is um, to compile you need to add these these things to the box spot perception package if not it won't work this is really important if you don't put this the modules won't be available you you won't be able to use it in the same package in other packages so you have to use this ament python install package okay then we install the scripts, in this case, dummy talker, so that we can use it also uh, with through package system if we want. And it's also very important that we put the dependencies of Rospy uh, and Ament CMake Python, and we also have to put it in the uh, package XML. Doing this, when you compile, it should work. Yeah? Okay. Now for the last point. So I created a new package, which is this one, which is Boxbox Tutorials. And inside this one, I created this launch file. It's not the script, it's a launch file. And which calls a script, which is this one, script talker. And this one is importing in the same way as we did before 
the dummy. So now in theory, we should be able to launch a launch file, this one, and it should be able to execute this publisher of another, it's a module of another package of ROS2, okay? It looks very, why do, would I need to do this? Well, it's very common to need to do this. So bear that in mind. Again, to use this, you have to make some modifications in the CMake list, add the dependencies of Python, and install la, the launch. This is really important, the launch uh, directory with all the launch files inside it, and also the script that you will use, in this case, Talker. Okay, again, a detail is launch files have to have at the end underscore launch. I don't know why I had some issues if I didn't put that name, so just bear that in mind. Or at least please leave it in the comments below if there's a way of not using that name. Okay, so uh, let's execute it. Again, we compile and so on. I've, we have already compiled here. And then we do ROS2, um, now launch, and a box tutorials. We double tap, we see the box tutorial talker. If we you double tap and it doesn't appear, then something is wrong in the compilation or in the name. So maybe you, you forgot the, the end of underscore launch.py. And there you have it. So again, if we go here and we do echo, why? Well, probably because uh, topic, it's not called like that. Uh, there you go. So it's called boxbot talker. And there you go. Very simple video, but also very basic. And there are a lot of details that if you have any doubts, just copy what I did and it, it, it should work. And you can modify it for your own packages and so on. So it's a very good place to start. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please remember that we have the Ross Dev Day, the fourth one. So on the 19th of June. So consider uh, registering and... See you in the next video. Peace.